all of five, my friends. Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much for your patience. A lot going on here in Penguin Land. I'm so excited about this class. It's going to be so much fun today. Holy cow. I am just so here for the recovery. I am so holding space to recover those wires, those meridians, those electrical messages flying through your bodies. I am so here for it. And I'm just wondering, are you here because you feel zapped? Do you need more fizziness in your life? Do you need that charge, that zest for life that for some reason got dulled, got leaked out, got... unattached, disconnected, we're going to talk about that. And we're going to put some beautiful music on. Those messages. What happened? You might even just be like, what? happened? Where did I go? Where did my spirit, soul, energy go? What happened to me? Where am I? Why am I not being myself anymore? Where did my connection to the love that I am go? And maybe you never even felt it. Is that what the matrix is? Is the matrix a prison where you don't feel your value, where you don't feel your life force fizzing, fizzing through your body. And how do you recover? How do you get it back? You know, everyone's looking for that peace, for that peace of mind, for that joy for that harmony, to just feel okay, to just feel like you can relax. And yet there's this hamster wheel that's going on with people in their mind, in their heart, running and running and not getting anywhere. What is that? Have the wires been just disconnected? Have they been cut? Have they been cut and reattached to other instruments, other people, other energies? Where did the connection go? Did it go outside of yourself? Did it disappear? Can you not even see yourself anymore? Did you look in the mirror? And did things become more confusing instead of clearer? Notice your breath. Notice your heartbeat. Today we're going to pull out the spikes, the disruptors, the opposite of conductors, the blockers that are actually causing you to analyze something that does not need to be analyzed. It's bringing your attention over here distracting you so you'll analyze something to try and find something that you don't even need to find 
because this whole analyzation, this whole worrying, the whole wondering, what did you do? That's all a distraction from your power. That's right here. And the purpose of the distraction is to hurt you. The purpose of the distraction is to make you more vulnerable. The purpose of the distraction is like baiting a fish. Look here, bite here. Ooh, now I got you, now you're mine to do it as I please. So if you're worrying, if you're wondering, if you're analyzing something, that should be a clue to you to know I'm being baited. I'm being baited by something so that I can be hooked. Why? Why does this happen? Because for humans, it's not as simple as throwing a bait of food, though sometimes it is, the sugar, the wheat, blah, blah, blah. There's mental baits. There's mental hooks. Debates. Wow, the word bait is in debate because they're baiting you to debate something that doesn't even need to be debated. <sighs> because peace does not need to be debated. Love does not need to be debated. Harmony does not need to be debated. Light and love. Debating that takes you away from that. Get it? It's a shift that you can do mentally to keep your power. Anytime you're distracted from that, and you feel guilt and worry, then you're not in your power, your beautiful power. So where is your power right now? Are you seated in your power? Or are you worried and wondering and wrinkling and tortured by these thoughts going around and around in your head like there's something wrong with you? which is a bait that gets you, that makes something wrong with you when there wasn't. So returning to that peace, recovering, protecting the amazing energy that you are is key to not being pulled into Babylon Pulled into the distraction, pulled into proving yourself. You don't need to prove yourself. So analyzing, worrying, all that stuff, it doesn't only disconnect you from your power. Mm -mm. It actually can cause a full shutdown in the circulation of your vital, pure, naked, raw, nude, beautiful, unaltered love energy. <sighs> what did I do wrong? Not only is it the bait that's pulling you into a vulnerable state, it's a virus, quote unquote. It's a viral programming that gets into your brain so that even after you're baited and hooked by one parasitic energy, even though you freed yourself from them, that viral programming might still be within the cells of your body. That's just waiting for activation with enough radiation. See, that's what happens. They know that scientifically. When you experience radiation, you experience genetic 
what do you call it? Distortions. And that's what causes the cancer. That's what causes disease. When your DNA gets altered by radiation, and this starts when we're very young, and certain genes get expressed from radiation. Certain diseases get expressed from radiation. And sure, you might be predisposed because of your ancestral radiation and what happened to them. But what is DNA on a spiritual, esoteric, energetic level? DNA is our beliefs. So the viral programming that says something's wrong with you is altered DNA. Get it? So it could be unexpressed when you're feeling great, when things are going well, when you're surrounded by incredible people who encourage you, but then that one parasite comes in and pokes you and triggers your boundaries and violates your boundaries. And because that viral programming hasn't been cleansed from you, that radiation of that stressful situation, or even a physical radiation, the EMF waves, can trigger it. And you need protection from that. You need protection by getting rid of the virus, that viral programming, and doing your daily discipline. The qigong, all of that protects you from that radiation. Because if you don't protect yourself, then that little bit of radiation can activate the viral programming that you haven't fully cleansed from other radioactive experiences in your life. And then you immediately start to get into those insecurities, the lack of confidence, all those vibrations that bring you down instead of the vibrations that lift you up into the creative, procreative, powerful being that you are to invoke beautiful things into this world. So get rid of that viral program and let's get rid of it. Let's notice our breath. Let's notice our heartbeats. If you are experiencing rejection dysphoria, which means complete anxiety and depression, anytime you feel any kind of rejection, what did I do wrong? What's wrong with me? Then you've got this viral programming that you need to cleanse, which was given to you by some kind of radioactive experience, by some kind of traumatic experience, by some kind of predatory or parasitic experience where someone else wanted your energy. In order to get it, they had to make you feel like there was something wrong with you so that you didn't value yourself so you would give that energy your life energy, that suppressive power that wants to harvest your energy when your energy is God-given for you, not meant for other people to harvest. Meant for you to express bliss and find bliss and be bliss. Let's notice our heartbeats and our breath. Thank you for the thumbs up. Are you fizzing yet? Are you feeling your fizzy? Or are you stuck in the dizzy? See, when your circulation has been stopped by these thoughts, you've got to take a step back and shut down. If you start to 
think these negative self thoughts, close your eyes. Feel the love all around you. Or your body's just going to shut down out of protection. It's like your computer will just shut down if there's all this misfiring messages and it's overloaded. It doesn't work anymore. You don't work anymore if the messages are misfiring in your body. And the shutdown is to protect you. That tiredness, that exhaustion that you feel when you're sick or emotionally sick is there to protect you because if you completely shut down and restart, there's a chance that your actual soul system will cleanse those viruses from you, those belief systems. Because when you shut down, there's this cleansing that happens where your soul is like pushed through every cell of your body, reminding every cell of your body who you really are. So completely go to sleep. Wake up refreshed. Sleep is the chief nourisher of life's feast. When you're exhausted, when you're sick, your body is telling you, shut down. There is a virus in here and I need to clean it. And you're not letting me do it while you're awake because your consciousness is distracted by this viral programming and it's not letting me do that self-healing work. That happens naturally when we're connected to source. Boom! Does that make sense to you? Qigong is a way to be awake and revitalize at the same time. You don't need to completely shut down. You're just shutting down your mind, which is trying to control you because of the other suppressive forces that have controlled that mind energy, supposedly, which is an illusion, but conceptually, that's really hard to grasp. Not only does it stop your life energy, but it stops you from being able to have success. So when your electrical energy is off, it's a sign that someone else is harvesting your energy for their success. And so how can you harvest it for yourself if it's being harvested for someone else? Bam. Notice your breath, notice your heartbeats. Harvest your energy, that's what we're doing in Qigong. I should call a class that. Absolutely harvest your own energy. Enjoy it. It's literally like if you had a bunch of apples, if you were an apple tree and you were popping out all these apples and you were so excited, they were so beautiful and juicy and gorgeous. And how proud are you of yourself that you can create these apples? But before you get to even bite one, not only do they get grabbed by other people, but those people that grab it are basically like, I made this apple when you're the one that made it. Reclaim your apples. How about them apples? All right, let's get started with our intentions. What a beautiful start to class, though. I'm so grateful to all these ideas that are coming through me. Simplifying this concept of dis-ease, of not being easy. It's easy. Don't complicate it. Harvest your own energy. Stop giving it away. And it's not as easy because we've been tricked. And don't be hard on yourself because things are invisible. And being baited by the idea that you're not good enough has been imprinted in so many advertisements that we've been looking at since we were popped out of the womb. You're not good enough by this. You're not good enough by this. You're not good enough by this idea. All of it's harvesting your energy. 
You are good enough. So again, today, like Monday, we're going to work on our confidence, our courage, our bravery, because that is the solution to the vibrational pollution of this baiting that's going on. So we share our intentions. My name is Aviva, and my intention is to be here with all of you today to help us all recover from the suppression that has led to rejection, dysphoria, and other powers harvesting your power so that we may all harvest our own power with the peace, love, beauty, and harmony of all of humankind. Patrick is here. Blessings. Patrick's intention is to recover, celebrate, and share all of that DNA and removing the radioactive residue and be radiant instead of radioactive. And supposedly, Irish sea moss helps to get that radiation out of the body so that you can see moss. <laughs> Yes, be the apple of your own eyes. Any other intentions today? We are an electrical system. That's why, like, shocking happens. Shock, boom, 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 boom. During heart attacks, shocking can, can revive you because the heart is electric. And that electricity shuts down with too much radiation. When your mind is radiated, it's harder to stay on task. It's harder to complete things because you get distracted by this emotional distress, which is the bait. Because if you would have stayed on task, you would have felt better. And that's where discipline comes in too. Discipline yourself to stay on task instead of to stay masked. I know it's not as easy as it sounds. It takes a lot of bravery. Because you just want to crawl into a hole. And that's good too. Being in a hole protects you, covers you. Be forgiving to yourself. But don't deny your life's work. Remind yourself of your life's work. That'll snap you out of it too. Maybe put signs on the wall to remind you. What have you done towards your life's work today? Keep your eye on the prize. Because if you keep your eye on the prize, you're not distracted by everyone else's problems. Problems, which could be that they want to suppress and harvest your energy. <laughs> suppress you and harvest your energy. <sighs> but you won't even want to do your life's work if you're distracted. You gotta really connect with your power. You might have to stop being around bullies because the bullies will keep triggering you and activating and expressing the mutation of your DNA instead of the pure form.
Okay, I'm going to say one more thing and then we'll start the movement. The thing is, is it's harder than it sounds because there are not only suppressive people, but systems in place to keep that suppression mainstream. Don't ask questions. That idea. Don't be loud. Don't express yourself. Don't speak up. That's a different kind of discipline that says, you're wrong, I'm right. Listen to the powers that be. You've got to always be in touch with what you feel is right. Asking questions because those people know not what they do. And they are just following directions because they want to be good and they forgot who they were and you can remind them just by being who you are and being like, well, that doesn't feel right though. There's got to be something. I refuse to be dumbed down. I want to think more about these things. I want to ask questions. I want to find a solution to whatever is disturbing the peace. Because honestly, people think about it. If the powers that be had all the answers, there would be no war. But they don't have the answers, so it's up to us. We have the answers in our hearts. Let's do the heart chakra mudra. Index finger down to the bottom of the thumb, the thumb to the middle and the ring. is not the answer. Fame is not the answer. Notches on your belt are not the answer. If it were, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in. We would have already found peace on earth. Isn't that what we all want? Because then we have peace within ourselves and that's everything. Money can't buy you love. It can't buy you happiness. Fame can't give you love. It can't give you happiness. Deep connection. If we can all focus on the deep connection to ourselves and others, we find so much more joy, so much more peace. And we're not disconnected from ourselves with those unwanted thoughts that are baiting us for our energy to be harvested by others. Having our energy, being in touch with our energy, which is love. You are love. So many don't believe that. They don't feel it. They don't know it. And they're just looking outside themselves for that with everything that they're doing. Love me, love me, love me, love me. You already are love. It is a tragedy that people are led away from that. And that's why babies and children are our teachers because they are love. They love so much more easily. They express their love. They say, I love you. They hug. It's so much more easier for them and animals. Because they have not been programmed to not believe it. Feel that love. 
love your job. Love and confidence and courage and reset. Those are the focuses today. This is not hippie. This is life. Don't let anyone demean your power to harvest your own energy. Your love energy. Because when someone else harvests your energy, turned into the energy that they intend it to be. Your intention behind energy is everything. Like a red dot of dye in water, color is like intention. It turns the whole glass of water into that color. So if clear is love, and someone's lust is black, then they can take your love and turn it black. And that is why you want to harvest your own energy. Because if someone gets a hold of it, they can use their intentions and make it something else. You want that to happen? If not, you better harvest your own energy. and make clear agreements if someone wants to use your energy for anything. No, you cannot use that if you're gonna use it for something that's not what I intend it to be for. All right, let's go into the confidence mudra then we'll stand up. Index of the thumb and the ring. You are responsible, my friends. Yes, you might feel like a victim when someone suppresses you, but know if you let them, then they can take that pure love energy that you are, that you gave them, and use it for something bad. So you're responsible for giving them that. Just like if you handed them $100 and they went and bought poison and poisoned someone with that hundred dollars. Be careful who you share your energy with. Because you are powerful. This is confidence mudra. You can grab onto this mudra like you're grabbing onto a rope being pulled out of a grave. Whenever you feel those thoughts, thinking anything less than you are pure love. And stay in it for as long as you need until that thought disappears that's toxic and what returns is that feeling of being unconditionally loved by the energy that created you. Does a flower doubt its own beauty? No. Does any creature in the whole world doubt its own beauty besides humans? No. It's a viral programming. It's the true epidemic. 
insecurity, lack of confidence. Not that animals can't have issues, especially pets. Can have a lot of emotional issues. I've worked with them with the Bach flowers. But can you blame them? They are being suppressed in a way, some of them. They've been through a lot. It's more likely that pets have been abused than animals in the wild. Feel that confidence energy swirling around your beautiful bodies. See yourself as a wonderment of nature. Like whale spotting, going out there and being so amazed at seeing a whale. When you're in meditation, when you're doing Qigong, have that same amazement about your own energy. Oh my God. Sometimes I cry, it's so beautiful. I can't handle it. All the energy around me, all of you are so beautiful. Like whales. I know that sounds weird. You know what's weird though? A whale wearing lipstick. You know what's weird? Making lipstick out of whale fat. It's not weird that you're as beautiful as whales. Because you are a natural creature of God. Just as amazing as it is to swim with a dolphin or see a tiger in the wild, seeing you all in the wild is awe-inspiring. All of your talents. Trying to fit it in a box is damaging because it's unlimited. All of your potential. Do you agree? Because agreements are powerful. And if you agree with me in this moment, it can change the world like a nose wiggle and a blink of the eye, bam, we have all agreed that all of our power is infinite. And beautiful, and full of pure love. All right, we are going to stand up. We are going to do a little bit of shaking, bouncing, a little bit of vibration. Shaking out the foot, shaking out the knees and the thighs and the hips. Kind of like the beginning of chaos in the Wu Gong, but this is just a little bit more improv -y.
I feel like we should make up some moves. Because this is all about protecting those wires that conduct your energy for your dreams and your purpose. Gratitude up. Let's stretch it back. Opening the heart. cut off any cords that are harvesting our energy. Wherever you feel it, get your scissors out. Toxic roots out. And shake it out. Feeling your own roots. Powerful roots of your plant. Keep pulling out roots as you psychically feel where they're connected. Maybe traumatic experiences to certain parts of your body developed these festering roots. Shake it out. Get some emotional releasing going on. energy and radiate it out and as you radiate your heart energy out see all that static energy dropping to the side ready three more times radiated out to the side. Three more times. Thank you. 
Now let's angle it up to each side. Sun rays. Here's a good protective move. Circling over your head, fingers are touching. And then we're just gonna sway like a sunflower back and forth, keeping the legs nice and supple. Beaming your beauty. the upper back Just as far as feels comfortable. Don't push your flexibility. Don't hurt yourself. We're going to do the hunched over and just kind of sway back and forth. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, now we're going to do something really, really, really silly. We're going to have an emotional joy release. Like, <laughs> like, Express happiness, goofy, however you can. Excitement, like. <laughs> like, see where that natural bliss is inside of you and express it the best you can. It's okay if it feels silly. Don't, I don't want to force it. So don't do it if you're really not feeling it. Don't feel like you have to but do the best that you can just being like, like as if like, imagine like what you like dream about came true. Like the gig that you want, it, it happened already. Um, whatever it is in your life, feel that excitement for it and express it. Activate that electricity in your body. Sounds like a siren. Put the siren on. The joy is happening in the world. Your dreams are true. You're coming true. They've come true. It's like a howl, isn't it? good to you. It feels so good to me. Let's do it for another moment. squeaky toy.
work. Cheers to you. All right, we're going to do that for another hour. Okay. How you feeling? I have broke a sweat. I am spitzing over here. All right. <sighs> well, that is pretty much a remedy for the electrical system, don't you think? <sighs> We're gonna do some up and down movements. We're just gonna do the swaying back and forth, keeping the feet on the ground and going a little wider and just letting the arms do whatever they want. Just kind of like being one of those dolls in uh, you know, the car shops. No one owns me, I am free, even if they humiliate me, I cannot. If I bones up, I can't control it. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's stretch the hands a little bit. Because we only got a few more minutes. I started a little bit late. But we're still getting an hour of this juicy energy and reminders of our soul essence. <sighs> Stretch. Stretch each finger. Other hand. Roots. Flying. Crane with some flying fingers. Switching knees. Had a lot of spinach today. Maybe that's why I'm feeling extra squeaky. And celery, of course, is amazing for your electrical system. Oh my gosh. Celery, juice, celery, get it in you. Celery is everything, people. All right, y'all, I'm going to have to bring class to a close. I don't want to, but I got to start my next class. I appreciate you all so much for being here with me and agreeing to be the love that you are. I feel like it really helps to vibrationally reset a lot of the chaos in the world into clarity. It's like bringing the trash out. You're so confused because there's a smell in the house and it's fogging up your brain. And then 
you take the trash out and you're like, oh, feels better in here. Tears to clarity. If you would like to reciprocate love energy through finances, then you may send a cash app tip to AATF. Much love and gratitude to all of my Patreons out there. I gave you your free track of the month. And I did a little picture post on Patreon. You, anyone who is not a Patreon can check out the page. I might throw a couple of non-Patreon posts up there for the heck of it to just reward you for looking at it and seeing what it's about. And that's it. It just helps me to keep this energy going. So if you got something out of today, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share this video. And throw me a tip if you want. And we are going to bow it out. We're going to thank all the lineage holders, all the ancestors. Thank you for everything. Thank you all the teachers. And we fill our hearts with gratitude and compassion and and we spread it out to the whole entire world. Exactly. <sighs> Turn those disses into your love energy. Your you, Gloria. Mm -hmm. You, Gloria, I'm here. For you.